everyone, let's talk about malfunctions. Now, there's quite a few different malfunctions that might happen to you. And the best way that I just want to go through it is how to deal with possible different malfunctions. So we're going to start at basically the first step and just give a roadmap of how you would uh, basically go through dealing with malfunctions, whether the first solution is going to cover the malfunction that you might have, or you might have to go to the next step or a final step to really be able to get clear of malfunctions and be able to get your gun back up and running, okay? So first off, we're just gonna have a simple malfunction of our handguns looking like this, like we're ready to shoot and everything. We press out and we pull the trigger and nothing happens. We just get a click, right? So we're just gonna simply tap on the bottom of the mag up to make sure it's seated and good and rack it. And then obviously maybe you know, we didn't have a round in the chamber or some of that, or maybe the round is in the chamber for some reason it didn't fire. So we have a new round in the chamber now and it should be ready to shoot and we'll pull the trigger and it'll start shooting. So just simply first off tap and rack and really don't even have to look necessarily at our handgun to do that uh, uh, override. We're just staying on uh, target or whatnot and we're able to do a malfunction that way. Now, another option, another thing that might be happening with that is when we punch out, we pull the trigger, and we go to rack it, or I mean, we tap to make sure it's seated correctly, and we go to rack it, it locks back to the rear. Us realizing that I have an empty mag. So then obviously, it just goes to the emergency reload, right? Dropping the mag and putting in a fresh mag. So that might be a uh, possible malfunction that we see happen that really just turns into reload because of just how um, something happened with our gun that it didn't lock the slide back to the rear when the mag was empty. Now, next, if we tap, so we're shooting, we're shooting, sometimes we tap and we rack and maybe, you know, we have a round or something uh, in there and so maybe the, the slide gets stuck partially back or something um, and whatnot, and we realize you know it's not still going to be able to fire we might be just dropping the mag and whether that's dropping the mag completely just on the ground or dropping the mag just into our hand to then be able to get it and cycle the slide a couple times clear it maybe tilt on the side make sure everything gets out and then reinsert the mag rack it again and be able to then go back out and keep shooting or we just drop that mag completely and then we're grabbing a new mag and reinserting that Oop. drop a new mag reinsert that and rack it and keep going on so either way you guys can run it where you're just either way you're dropping it whether it's in your hand or you're dropping on the ground and then racking the slide to clear the malfunction out to get the new mag or the same mag back in there now what possibly might happen is same thing's happening, but instead when we go to drop the mag, it doesn't actually drop for some reason. So instead what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to stay uh, with our finger on the magazine release, but this time we're gonna rip it out. And when we rip it out, then maybe whatever is happening causes uh, you know rounds to come out the bottom uh, through the magwell, the slide to go forward, something like that, and then we can uh, making sure that you know the mag's got rounds in it. It's good. Maybe the mag got messed up and the rounds are facing the wrong way or something random. Uh, it's good to run. We'll reinsert it, rack, and punch back out. If for some reason we see that something's wrong with the mag, then you know maybe we'll stow it away someplace, or we'll come just completely just ditch it and we'll get a new mag, insert that, rack it, and punch back out. So very simple, just easy roadmap. I want to show you guys dealing with malfunctions, just going through and just doing immediate, just tap rack and getting the gun back up that way. If it's not fixing that way and you're dropping the mag, you're racking the slide to clear whatever's going on with it and then getting everything back up. Or if for some reason the mag doesn't want to drop, you're ripping it out and then doing the same steps as before. So guys, malfunctions. There's quite a few different ones, but steps usually are the same, especially when it comes to handguns and how to deal with them. You guys definitely practice these and things like that for being able to better your active defense.